Anna Kristen has an amazing house in Nashville, and you're our first reader room, which is amazing. Yay! Very okay, first Hi. one! So Anna Kristen is not an interior designer, but she is obsessed with design, and she has an amazing blog called Interior Canvas and just launched. Tell them all about your fabric line, baby. Okay, it's called Interior Canvas Home. Um, it started just basically evolved out of my love of design and writing about it and I kind of wanted to create something tangible for the interior design world. So Anna Kristen has her amazing blog, she started her own fabric line and we're going to show you her family room. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Slide yes. numero on. Boop. <laughs> Isn't it cute? So. I love this space because Anna Kristen is a mom. She's got three little girls and she's a working mom. And I love it that you did the white furniture. I always say that, believe it or not, it's so forgiving, right? It is so forgiving. Um, and on top of that, three of those four chairs are slip covered. So I can rip them off and throw them in the wash. And um, it was, and it really is. It's kind of like having a white car versus a black car. The white one never shows the dirt, oddly enough. So right. there's this stigma against white and um, it actually is very forgiving so I have, um, white, I have white slip covered sofas yeah like I swear by them and it does it seems so counterintuitive but it always looks fresh and clean and you really can mix up anything with it so Absolutely. we've got to show you the before because like so many of us I mean let's just go to slide number two I think this furniture grouping you know, it, it's not really doing much for the room. So let's go to the next slide, AK, and show what you did. Okay. You rounded it out. Yes, I really did. And I kind of um, enlarged it. The former homeowner had this very kind of bunched up right around the fireplace roofing. And it's, it's a really large room. Yeah. And so there was all this wasted space um, where she could have capitalized on and, and didn't. And so um, I wanted there to be ample seating. So, cause we're always having birthday parties and family gatherings and dinners and, and people want a place to, you know, have a conversation. And so it was a way from, I had the space to do it now. And so I literally just- I love it. I love it. And then, so are these chairs, are these all the three of them? Are they all the same? No, they're different. Um, so two of them were uh, my mother's that were in this kind of blue and white check fabric, which was just old and needed to be recovered. Right. And one of them, it, I mean, they're all old inherited chairs. And then the other one um, was uh, a, a grandmother's chair that had this like gorgeous yellow silk, completely impractical fabric. Right. <laughs> and so I just covered them all in the end. It worked. It does yeah. work. No, and I, that is such a great tip because a lot of us don't have just endless resources to just go buy tons of new furniture. I love it that you united the different profiles of the furniture in the same fabric. This is why I really wanted to start this series where we're showing real Hanover Avenue readers, real people who aren't fancy schmancy interior designers, how we all, I mean, let's PS, this is how I live. This is how most of us live. We don't all have, you know, the perfect show house, but I think it looks amazing. And I think it looks like a designer came in and did it. And I love it that you took what you had and made it work and just used new fabric. That's yes. really smart. Okay. Thank so you. let's go to the next slide and look at this awesome table. Yes. This was a find, a flea market find. Um, I love it. Totally dilapidated, and my sweet dad um, put it put it together for me. Kind of reconstructed it, added added a, a top to it. It was basically the bottom frame, and it's this fabulous wood. And it just, you know, it was a great um, table. And in our previous house, it had been in our breakfast nook, and it was actually where we ate. And then. When we moved into this house, which had more rooms and more places for more tables, um, this became kind of like the homework table, the arts and crafts table, um, but also, you know, when we have big family gatherings, the kids' table because it is indestructible. You oh, that's smart! I yeah. love it. But wait, so this is where the kids sit, like at Christmas? Yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah, it's great, <laughs> and I don't have to worry about like don't spill or don't. You right. Know? Markers drawn on it. I mean, it has been abused, but 
you know, in a loving way, and that's what it's supposed to be there for. So that's so charming. You know, yeah. I think pieces like that, sometimes it's these pieces that aren't so precious that your kids really are going to play rock, paper, scissors for. Right. Absolutely. You know, like Absolutely. that's the thing that people are like, I want the table. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, I've done that. Do you know what I mean? But they'll, they'll yes. have the good memories. So is you this just the, is this the original paint that's just kind of stripped off? Yes. I love It's that. like this gorgeous patina that just is kind of there and, um, you know, my dad kind of sanded it down a little bit so it didn't flake off because who knows what's in that paint. But, uh, we all you know, could, it, we all could use a little lead paint. I had, I was tested, I had lead. Those of us that grew up in Virginia in the 70s, we chewed on our lead baseboards and we all have lead. That's yeah. brain damage, it's okay. I mean, That's all right. I'm a little zany, yeah. No, it's crazy, but so, and we should also say Anna Kristen's dad, hello, the most handy man. I know. Probably I mean, today. totally, like hooked you up with every single dorm room and was always yeah. there for move-in day. Ran all the phone lines, you remember all Totally, that? yeah, her dad's very handy. Well, also too, so I am such a sucker for a ladder back chair. I love yeah. these because here's why I love ladder back chairs, you guys. And really you can find these in so many flea markets, but they don't take up a lot of space. They're not very wide. And this rattan, believe it or not, I think so many people are worried about these woven seats, but you can sponge that off. You can, and, and they're, they are also indestructible. Yes. I mean, this is a funny story, I literally, Pulled these out of a dumpster. No. <laughs> Free. I mean, I'm not like crawling around <clears throat> the gutters looking for furniture. <laughs> this so happened. This kind of evolved from a variety of places, but these were it. You know, a homeowner had thrown them away. She was purging and just was like, I can't take it anymore. I love stuff. that. These were free, so it was great. Was this the color that they were, or did you spray these? Is this like a flat black? What is that? No, it's a really, um, it's a dark charcoal, and it was the color. I had these grandiose plans to lacquer them. No. Fabulous, but. No, no. <laughs> I got around to it. No, but. I love, I love, you guys have seen it a million times. I love like a flat black or flat charcoal chair with a wooden yeah. table. Timeless. And it goes with everything, so, you know. It's before you, before you lacquer those, you have to call me. Okay. I'm going to talk you out of it. No, I love it. Okay, so let's go to the next slide and keep looking at this amazing room. So this is the other direction looking in. AK, the risers on the stairs, I love it that you made those black. Black. And that, you know, honestly has been my saving grace because um, you don't think about it, but there are so many scuff marks that collect from white risers. Yes. And black hides it all. And that is the one place that I will embrace the black because it is worth it. Um, and you don't even, it, and it also kind of disappears, you know, yes. the, your eyes immediately go beyond that rather than gravitating towards the risers. No, that's a really good point. That's a smart design tip. So guys, imagine if this were white, it would almost be like your eye just stops. And now your eye just continues into this charming, is that the room that you're sitting in right now? Yes. I love it. Thank I you. love a little faux bamboo. Hey, Dorothy <laughs> Draper. And also, too, so can you tell me, because I love this little swoopy chain, Was did you just have to center the table, or was this just a necessity, or was the swoop a design choice? You know, it was really a necessity. Um, the Where the fixture is actually connected to the ceiling is way to the side of the, the room. So at, at, at one point, the table was way over in the side of the room. And so um, I wanted my table centered with the den so that it all kind of was, you know, it led your eye, your eye immediately went to the yeah. to point. And so, um, it was great. I just had, I just put a little hook in the wall where at the center of the table was and just drooped the chain and it, and it kind of gave a little bit of movement to the room and I liked it. So. I, I love this. You know, we've talked about this sometimes in articles, especially, I mean, well, A, I mean, you guys own your house, but also for those of you who rent. Mm -hmm. Yes. You don't have to pay to rewire things, but I love it that you just did that really big, generous droop of the chain. So the hook is right above the table, huh? Yes, it is. And you know, that also helps if you do end up 
changing. I think the, the owner before us had a rectangular table and it was facing a different direction. And so the hook that they had was in a different spot. I mean, they had kind of, you know, moved it around too. And so the great thing about a hook is, is you can kind of move the fixture without, as you said, having to rewire. No, it's so Here. smart. P.S. Did you notice that we put the Nashville skyline on your TV through the magic of Photoshop? <laughs> Thank but it's gorgeous and then I also want to show our readers because I love this and Kristen and we were like what is this shadow that's cast throughout the space your cute little girls made snowflakes on the window they did and I I really was not trying to be Martha Stewart I mean honestly it was during one of the very long holiday days where everybody was at home and you're trying to just make it through to bedtime. Um, and one of them had learned how to make six point snowflakes, which I still don't really understand how to do, but it involves some sort of origami, you know, shaping of it and then cutting. But they're these gorgeous, you know, crafts that result out of it. And I was like, let's put them on the, I love the window. It. So. No, I love it. It makes a house feel like a home, but it does. It makes it feel like everyone lives there. All right, so let's go to the next shot. This is Anna Kristen's amazing bookcase. Yeah. Girl, and I am such a sucker for looking at people's bookcases because I really do think it, it tells a story about who really lives there, but also I cannot stand when people make their bookcases totally contrived. And yeah. I love I love how the books by the blue bowl are just leaning. I love the grouping of photographs and I want you guys to really look at this. Try to copy what she did in your own house. Just pull your treasures together, but it is so charming. I love it. Well, I was really grateful because over the years you collect knickknacks and you get inherited things and you, there's a stuffed duck up there that... <laughs> yes, there is. Is it your husband's? <laughs> right. Uh, his one stuff thing I allow. <laughs> this is your corner. That's his yeah. shelf. You can have a <laughs> shelf. That's awesome. <laughs> and then, um, you know, and so it was, they had been all smashed into closets and I didn't have anywhere to put them in our older house. And so all of a sudden I get this wall of shelves and I'm like, it's your time to shine, you know? And right. So, it was a great way for me to put all that stuff out there. Well, and also too, I love that you put this mirrored. It looks like it's almost like a, an old mirror that has, or an old window that has mirrored backing. I love that that bounces the light around the room. There's another one right here, guys. And then I love the handprint plate. <laughs> I mean, that's so cute. Well, it's it's reflective of, as you said, it's it's it means a real family lives here. You know, it's not just um, a series of books that were bought in a bookstore and it doesn't tell you anything about the family then. And, and this is literally like, I could tell each piece has a story. And so. I love right. that. No, I right. love it. And and you guys just look at how she did too. I mean, she put like this cute vase of Pussy Willow with picture frames in front of it. And then she's put picture frames in front of this mirror. and. We love for you guys to see how you can layer and style out a bookcase, but nothing is worse than going into someone's house and realizing that they bought the entire bookcase from a store. Don't, right. don't do that. No, it's so charming. Okay, let's go to the next shot. And I want you guys to just drink up this room because I mean, Anna Kristen, it really is charming. Even down to this adorable, is that just like an antelope skull? What? Okay, yet again, um, this was another um, concession trophy from the husband. <laughs> <laughs> this was not bought at West Elm. This was actually oh, it's a, legit. It's a legit carcass skull. <laughs> what do you want? I don't know what it is. I don't even know what it is. But I'll tell you this, and it it really had been in the basement for so long. I was just you know I grew up with three sisters, and you know you didn't kill Bambi, you know like <laughs> yeah, that right. Yeah. And so the whole concept of like stuffed things on the wall just was not in my yeah. you know, forte. But as I was designing this room, I realized I needed something that was kind of creating a, a, an abstractness to the more uniformity of everything. And so um, I was like, all right, little little guy, let's, let's see what you can do. And I get more comments oh, from, from 
people. Like, because you, you walk into the kitchen and that's your focal point. Oh, I love it. it. That dead thing. You know what, I, you know what <laughs> I love that you did? Is that the antlers come across the window like that? Yeah. That you didn't try to make it perfectly perfect? I mean, I'm married to a Texan, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, now, granted, there are still lots of things in bubble wrap in, in the cellar that are not coming out anytime soon. But I do appreciate the fact that, you know, yet again, this is a part of our life. Maybe not mine, but my husband's. Right. It, it represents part of who we are. And, you know, it also is making the room a little bit more, um, have a life to it other than just, you know, yeah. the structure that it creates. So, no, yeah. it, it reflects the whole family. Yes. And you know what, so many of us too that are that are the wives and we all have our ideas of what we want in design, but we have to remember that he lives there too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, bless his heart. Right. right now. But no, I love it. I love it. The last thing I wanted to talk about too is so are these skirts on the table, are they different fabrics or are those the same? Yes, they're different. I love you for that! <laughs> yes! I'm so happy you did that! Okay, talk about it. So what's this front one? Is that like a cute little check? It's a cute little check. It is. And um, this was one that I found this gorgeous fabric that I fell in love with and it was like way out of my budget. So this is kind of like a knockoff check because you have to use so much more yardage for a, yeah. you know, yeah. for a table. Um, and then the, the one in the, the background is kind of more of a, um, a goldy color, that uh, neutral goldy color. And the funny thing is these two tables were in different rooms in my other house. Oh! So that is, you know, they were coming from kind of different landscapes per se. And so when I created this room, um, I needed kind of two big anchor tables. And at the time, and obviously life took over and I just haven't done anything about it, but I liked it so much it just created a little more variety. Please don't change it. Please yeah. don't change it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love that they don't match. I love I mean, that. It's very accidental. I mean, I wish I could say it was an intentional move on my part, but I think a lot of great design has come from accidents in my house. And no, so, it's, it's true. You. We call that, those are the design gods. Yeah, they just, they, they smiled on me and it just, poof, it just, so there you go. No, I love it. I love how you just, you know, plopped the mirror up on the mantle and you didn't hang it. Yeah, didn't hang it. So um, casual. And the same with the sconces. I love that. Thank you. Uh, and that was something where, again, um, I threw it up there <laughs> to make my house at home. And um, I liked it so much that I just have kept it that way. So it feels it, casual and unstudied. Yeah. And it really does, I love that. You know I love that so much. White on white, cream, texture, layering. I want you guys to see this because this is what I love about this room. This really nubby rug, this gorgeous, is that like a damask fabric? Yeah, this, and this was my mother's chair in her study. I mean, it's got a lot of sentimental value to me too. And um, it, it just, it's actually my favorite chair because it's got this high back, you know, and always whenever the, you know, men come in, that's where they sit. Because, you know, men like to have... The throne. Like that. It's the throne. <laughs> that's in their DNA. They're the king. No, it is. Oh, it's amazing. And I really want you guys, you've got to go to Anna Kristen's Instagram. Please go check out Interior Canvas Home, the fabric. The price point is going to make you fall out of your chair. You're going to end up buying tons of yards. But you guys are going to love... Love, love, love Interior Canvas Home. And thank you so much for being our first reader room. Thank oh, thank you. you. I'm honored. Love. Okay. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Say goodbye. Bye, guys. And don't forget to hit sub... What? I can't. It's like asking for money. <laughs> if you love this video and you want to see more, head to HanoverAvenue.com. And if you love... What? And if you... What? And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> If you like this video and you want to see more, head to HanoverAvenue.com and don't forget to subscribe by clicking here.